In this video, I'm going to be trying to see if ChatGPT can create a horror game from scratch. I'm going to be asking ChatGPT to make a horror game in Unity and follow each step I'm given to try make a horror game. But here's the challenge. I can't change any of the code that I'm given. Let's see what happens. But first, I wanted to talk about our sponsor for this video, Game Maker. Game Maker is an all-in-one game development engine with everything you need to make games, such as a built-in sprite editor, an advanced programming language, and an easy-to-use level editor. I think Game Maker is the best game development engine for anybody looking to get into game development, and one of the reasons why is because of their visual scripting tool, GML Visual, which allows you to program your game with no coding. Game Maker makes creating games easier than ever. So if you're somebody that is interested in making games, or you're already a game developer and you're looking to try out a new engine, I'd highly recommend downloading Game Maker for free with the link in the description. Anyway, let's try and get AI to code a horror game. To get started, I asked ChatGPT to give me a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to make a horror game in Unity. And I was given a bunch of steps on how to make a horror game. So let's work through them. Step one, conceptualize the game. Now, I'm not actually sure what type of horror game I'm going to make. So I'm just going to follow the other steps and see what we end up with. Step two, set up the development environment. To set up the development environment, I created a new Unity project. Step three, import assets. I only needed two assets for this project, an environment and an enemy, which I both got from the Unity Asset Store. Step four, design the environment. I added the environment asset into our game, but it didn't really look like a horror game. So I asked ChatGPT how I can make my Unity environment look more like a horror game, and after adjusting some of the settings that ChatGPT recommended, our environment actually looked like a horror game. Step five, create the player character. The next thing I needed to do was create a player character and add it to our game. But to do this, I needed ChatGPT to program a player movement system. I asked ChatGPT to code me a player movement system for Unity, received this code, added this code to our game, and we had a player movement system for our game. Step six, implement gameplay mechanics. Now that we had a player movement system in our game, it was time to add an enemy. I asked ChatGPT to code an enemy AI and was given this code. I added this code to our game and we had an enemy AI. I added the enemy asset to our enemy object and now our game was actually looking like a horror game. Except we needed one more thing, a jump scare. I asked ChatGPT to code a jump scare for our game and received this code. I added this code to our game, set up the jump scare, and here's what we got. So overall, I asked ChatGPT to make a horror game, and what we got was a decent prototype for a horror game. Obviously, there is a lot more that could be added to make this an actual horror game, but for a prototype, it's pretty good. But I wanted to try something else. A few videos ago, I made a horror game in 10 minutes. In the game, the player spawned in a maze and had to escape avoiding enemies that would chase you through the maze. Since the game was made in just 10 minutes, there were some things that could be improved, so I wanted to ask ChatGPT to improve the game. I explained to ChatGPT what my game was about and asked for different ways I could improve my game, to which ChatGPT gave me a bunch of different suggestions for improvements I could add to my game. So here's the challenge. I'm going to add three different improvements to my game, but I only have 10 minutes to add each one. So let's see how we go. First off, ChatGPT suggested that I added new enemies to my game. Instead of having one enemy that chases the player through the maze, ChatGPT suggested that I added new enemy types. Since I only had 10 minutes, I asked ChatGPT to give me an idea for an enemy and implemented that idea into our game. The idea ChatGPT gave me was for an enemy that would basically look like a wall of the maze. However, when the player is in range of the enemy, it'll change into the enemy sprite and start chasing the player through the maze. This was a good way of adding another jump scare to our game. The next suggestion was that I added improvements to the maze itself. In our game, there was just one set level, so to fix that in 10 minutes, I duplicated the level and made a second maze. Now the game had two different mazes, which helped improve the game. The final suggestion was to add puzzles to the game. 
I did this by adding a key that the player needed to find before they escaped the maze. And those are the three improvements that ChatGPT suggested for the game. Now let's test the game out. All right guys, so here we are in the updated version of our horror game with our new features added to the game, which only took 10 minutes each by the way. So yeah, let's see if the game is improved. Um, so first and foremost, I don't know where the key is. Every time the game restarts, the key spawns in a different location. So yeah, it's gonna make the game a lot more difficult. So let's just go this way. As you can see, the door is there, but I can't get through it. I need the key. So let's keep looking around and hopefully we find the key. There's an enemy over there. So uh, we're just gonna go this way. Um, no, we're not, we're going this way. Uh, okay, okay. We've got an enemy chasing us now. So let's, uh, let's run this way. Let's go around here. Hopefully we find this key soon or at least, oh, there it is, nice, okay. Let's go back up this way, go around here. How do we get back to the door? That's the question. Ah, almost. All right, is this the way? I don't think it is. No, the door's there. All right, let's go like this and go like that and then up here again. Okay, let's go. Thanks again to Game Maker for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check out Game Maker, you can download it for free using my link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, feel free to leave a comment, and you can also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace.